the UK Pitbulls, a wrestling tag team from Norwich containing the brothers Mike and Dave Waters. Forming in 1998, the team would go on to dominate European wrestling. However, unlike other wrestlers, growing up the UK people didn't have dreams of becoming wrestlers. The older brother Dave had found his way in Strongman, recording a third place finish in the UK Strongest Man. Well, when Dave first started his Strongman competitions, we were very apprehensive, wondering if he could cope with it all, because there was such a lot of input to, to do the things that he wanted to do. The younger brother, Mike, had dropped out of high school and started joining punk bands, getting into drugs and alcohol. Mike's life had started going down a different path than his parents had expected. Well, when Michael was growing up, he was rather difficult to handle at times. He was had a real mind of his own and he did all sorts of things that he shouldn't have probably done. And then Dave had to come along and sort of help him through the town because we were worried that what he might get up to but uh, then eventually he quietened down a bit. Not long after competing in the UK Strongest Man 1997, Dave started wrestling training in Norwich. Um, well me and Michael were big fans of wrestling and uh, we used to go watch it on telly and we went to see WWE a few of the things and that they did, a few of the tours. And um, we found out it was a local company, um, used to put shows on in Norwich. And uh, we went to some of them and um, got to f see a few of them. And I looked to try and get into wrestling, but I couldn't really find anywhere local. So me and a friend of mine went down to Kent and did a, a week long training school um, with Hammerlock. But it didn't really go anywhere, so uh, carried on just watching the, the shows. And then um, Ricky Knight from WAW basically said I was starting school up in Norwich and uh, we've got to come along and uh, try some wrestling out, so that's really how it started. Not long into Dave's training, Mike started his. They would com complete their training around the same time and would go on to form the tag team, the UK Pitbulls, in 1998. Almost instantly, the team gained popularity in England, competing in companies up and down the country such as RDW, FWA and WAW, winning titles in almost every company that they worked for. The team would go on to wrestle stars such as Daniel Bryan and Sheamus, who would go on to become stars in WWE. Due to their size and in-ring ability, there was high demand from fans to see the team compete. This led to the team getting opportunities in Europe, expanding the popularity of the team even further. Bigger Pitbulls are pretty popular for a while, you know, we, going, we, obviously we started around 98 and then um, from there we started snowballing and we got the European promotions started getting in contact with us, American promotions getting in con contact with us and we were getting out regularly, we were out wrestling Europe two or three times a month around the, time, around the sort of like peak of us which was around sort of the early 2000s. The injury, that was going back as Back in the in the 90s, I was a top level strong man. I had a break for several years to do the wrestling, and um, basically in uh, late sort of mid to late noughties, sort of 2008, I had I was only owned, owned a gym at the time. and decided to have another go at strong man. Um, got back in shape, did a couple of warm up competitions, and then went for a big competition in Dan and Kent um, called um, Britain's Most Powerful Man. And unfortunately, on the very first event, uh, which is the farmer's walk, which is where you have to have, uh, you had 100 kilo in each hand uh, on uh, bars, and you've got to run with it as fast as possible. And unfortunately, um, foot slipped on a small pebble or rock or something, wasn't sure how happened, and I ruptured um, the tendon in my left leg, the patella tendon just below the knee and uh, all the weight went over to the other side and that then ruptured all the muscles in my right quad and all um, down like my um, quadricep tendon in my left, in my right leg and um, unfortunately that sort of uh, put me out of action for several years. David suffered an injury during a strongman competition which left him unable to walk for the rest of his life. This left Mike to compete by himself for the first time in his career. 
However, due to Mike not liking Singles' action, he decided to retire. This was short-lived as Mike would return to in-ring action with a brand new tag team, The Unnatural Disasters. With the team trying to regain the popularity that the UK Pitbulls once had, they featured on the TV show TNA British Boot Camp, but they failed to make it past the first round. Well, the Unnatural Disasters were a great tag team and we had so many opportunities. Um, you know, we had the TNA Boot Camp, uh, promotions like All Star Wrestling were booking us and we were getting to work with people like Marty Skirl, Jay White and Doug Williams and some really good workers. And um, it was a great tag team, but obviously the whole injury thing happened to Khan and we had to stop the team. It just, it was a nightmare. Another injury, this time to Connor, would strike the end of the Unnatural Disasters. Well, after the Unnatural Disasters, when Khan got his injury and had to, had to quit, it was, uh, it was, I was devastated again. And obviously, I had a lot of bookings uh, still for the Unnatural Disasters, so I had to find a tag partner. There was a guy called uh, Joe who we trained, and he was also he was a body guy, he looked really good. But he'd obviously got on the burgers and cakes and he looked, he'd got a bit bigger and I thought, ooh, you know. And he'd started wrestling as Big Joe and I'm thinking, ooh, Big Joe, Big David, it's familiar. Mm -hmm. Why don't we do this again? And so we got, I asked him to put the idea to him and then we started calling ourselves the Pitbulls, me and Big Joe. Big Joe had been a trainee at the Pitbulls Powerhouse Gym and had been wrestling around the UK for a few years. With a new revamped UK Pitbulls, they set out once again to gain the popularity and prestige the team once held. How did Tim Mike wrestle with Valley make you feel? Um, it's sad really, but I mean, I knew I couldn't do it. I was well, doctors or everyone who uh, sort of said, oh, you'll never walk again, you'll never wrestle again, that sort of thing. So I just sort of resigned myself to the fact that he was, uh, I, didn't, I didn't want him to give up, you know, he, he got a new partner and um, he carried on. For, for several years, didn't really do anything about it because um, I was uh, sort of just been told by everyone that I wouldn't be able to do this and that. And uh, one year I just sort of, I split up with the girlfriend at the time and I just was single and I just got really low point. And I just thought to myself, if I don't do anything, um, I'm going to be like this forever. Dave returned to in-ring action after being told he would never be able to walk again. Having a few matches with a mask and a different name, it wasn't long before the rumours that the original UK Pitbull would reunite started surfacing. Big Joe had started getting known on the deathmatch scene and had left the tag team to pursue his singles career. With Big Joe gone, that left Mike and Dave to join up once again and reunite the UK Pitbulls. Since reforming the original team, the UK Pitbulls have had some big matches winning the WAW tag titles at Carroll Road in 2019 in front of around 5,000 fans. <laughs>